What is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wanted to hop on here real quick and just give this video right here a proper introduction. Today's video is gonna be split up into two parts. So the first part is gonna be what I like to call somewhat of a lookbook slash outfit ideas for the week. I'm gonna run you guys through five outfits and just kind of talk about my styling process behind each outfit. These looks right here are just outfits that I've been gravitating towards and just again, pieces that I've been really enjoying as of late. And I'm super excited to be partnering up with the team over at Everlane for the lookbook portion of this video right here. If you guys are regulars, you already know what it is. I'm always rocking and sporting Everlane and I work with them constantly. So in today's lookbook, I'm gonna be styling again, just a bunch of their new bits along with some pieces that I already have in my wardrobe and just kind of again taking you guys through like my styling process when putting together outfits for the week and all that good stuff and then the second part of this video right here is going to be kind of like a mini apartment hunting vlog situation if you guys have been keeping up with the vlogs then you already know what it is my girlfriend and i have been kind of again just like looking for a new space to live in and you guys will kind of see how that played out towards the end of this of this video within the vlog portion i make sure you stay tuned to the very end of this entire video as i have uh, what I like to believe is a very big kind of like life update in regards to that whole moving out situation So again, stay tuned to the end of that as always give this video a thumbs up subscribe for more content like this And if any of you guys are interested in any of the items and the pieces worn throughout this video right here Everything will be linked in the description box as always. But yeah, without further ado Let's get into the lookbook portion of this video sponsored by Everlane <laughs> Are you guys kicking things off with my go-to Monday outfit? I'm sporting this Everlane Oxford short sleeve shirt paired up with some simple black trousers, a nice smart pair of loafers, and just to kind of add some texture to my outfit, I finished the look with this wool-like tote bag. On Mondays, I personally always want to be feeling my best as for me personally, it just kind of sets the tone for the rest of the week. And this Everlane Oxford shirt is the perfect lightweight option for the warmer days. Simple, elevated, making you ready to tackle the rest of the week. Tuesday's outfit is very similar to Monday's, but nonetheless, still a great look. I'm rocking this linen short sleeve shirt from Everlane, paired with their performance chinos from their uniform collection. And to add some interest to the overall look, I just finished off the outfit with a really nice everyday simple bag, as well as a bolder yet practical footwear option for the summer. Linen, especially for this time of year, is 100% a must. And I just feel like you can never go wrong with classic colors and silhouettes, and Everlane does those two things perfectly. Wednesday's outfit is my personal favorite. I'm wearing this thrifted Revere collared shirt paired with some Everlane shorts, which by the way, it comes in so many colors. And to complete the look, I threw on my Prada bum bag and these Nike Air Jordan 1s in the court purple colorway. I personally love an all black outfit with a nice pop of color in your shoe. And not to mention these Everlane shorts look and fit so well, making this the perfect outfit for that midweek casual flex. Thursday's outfit is 100% an absolute banger. 
But on a serious note, I'm sporting this Everlane linen shirt in their midnight colorway paired with a basic tee underneath, which is also from Everlane. Some pleated crop trousers for that visual interest. I reached for some chunky sneakers and an accessory such as this Balenciaga pouch to complete the look, making it just a little bit more smarter. This outfit right here is me in an outfit. I personally love playing with and combining textures. And I also have been really digging the color blue lately. So this outfit again is nothing but a, let's say it again, banger. Friday's outfit is the perfect look for that end of week celebration. Whether you're gonna hit the beach, attend a barbecue, or just have a casual dinner with your friends and family, this outfit right here is where it's at. I'm sporting this oversized thrifted shirt paired with a simple basic tee and shorts from Everlane and completed the look with some chunky sneakers and the same tote bag from Monday's outfit. This time of the year is when I personally like to incorporate just a little bit more lighter colors into my outfits. And as I mentioned, I've been really liking the color blue as well as like tans, grays, and white making this outfit right here a perfect Friday look slash option. All right, you guys, and that is it for the lookbook portion of this video right here. Much love once again to the team over at Everlane for sponsoring this video and always supporting my channel. Like I said, I've been working with them for a minute now and I just personally love and I'm always wearing their stuff. And as you guys can see, I put together some solid, in my opinion, banger outfits. Um, again, that would just be great for this time of the year. Super amazing pieces. The quality is on point without breaking the bank. And like I mentioned, that's gonna be it for the first portion of this video right here. Make sure you stay tuned for the end if you wanna watch the vlog. <laughs> I'm going to. Hi, we're here for a 10 15 a.m. tour. For TV? Yes. Come on in. Thank you. Alright, what is up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. If you guys have been keeping up with the videos, you would know that recently we moved out of the studio loft. So today we're currently looking at some more apartments. We're currently in the first one right now. We're gonna look at two. Um which one is this? Like one bedroom or something? One bedroom. One bedroom, one bath. Got two bedrooms. Uh, right <laughs> right. <laughs> you wait, we should just show them real quick. Just show them. Okay. So when you walk in, there's a closet right here, just with you know the water heater. Probably has some little hanging stuff there yeah, too. Yeah, you could store like big coats or beauty shoes and you know, a vacuum or whatever. Um, kitchen. I like the cabinets in here. Yeah, me too. I like those handles. It's really nice. Yeah, and then it has a nice um, for bar stools and yeah, stuff here. Yeah, some island space kind of. Yeah. Or bar space. Um, and then it's just open. I think I think it's really nice. I like how everything is open, like you know, from the kitchen. Yeah, if so this had, is your kitchen. If and we had guests over, if I was like cooking or something, you could still like entertain yeah. your guests. And you can cook and watch TV if you wanted to. And there's a little like outside vibe as well. I didn't know this one had a patio. That's yeah. Too. First of all, there you go. It's a pretty decent sized patio as well. This is actually a kind of a big patio. I know, can have a little barbecue grill whole, there. I was gonna say, you could have a whole, whole setup. Oh shit, make sure it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> we left the key inside. <laughs> have a whole barbecue and like fire pit, chairs. But yeah, so everything, everything out here is just basically an open, open floor plan. We kind of come off the kitchen, and here's the bathroom. The bathroom is pretty nice too. I like these like floors. These <laughs> yeah, same. It is. Um, Big mirror as well. So washer dryer. Hi. But washer yeah, dryer. Washer dryer. 
I don't know if I love how the washer dryer is just like out open. Yeah, like same. if I'm washing stuff and we have people over, you need to use the bathroom. I don't know about that. This is um, the bedroom. Yeah. I don't know if I like this light. Look at that. That's the light. Yeah, that's the bedroom. Yeah. It's this knob. It's not even that bright. And then you have like I'm personally not a fan that there's carpet in here, but I think it's fine. It's not the worst thing. Pretty decent size. Yeah, a walk -in it's a walk-in closet, so. Which we need. Yeah. <laughs> we need so much clothes. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's definitely not the worst thing, but it's not the best, in my opinion. It's kind of dark. But I think, you know, if you add some additional lights, I think it should be fine. Well, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. And I kind of like those ones above the Oh, yeah, I like those, too. Those are kind of cool. Yep. yep, so we're at one spot first, and then we're going to look at... We're in one unit right now, and then they they gave us access to three of them. So we're going to go look at these three, and then we have um, another apartment complex that we're going to look at after this. But yeah, just going to give you guys a little look. This is not the one we're in. This one is the one we're in right now. <laughs> you guys, you're not going to believe what just happened. So like I said, we're still at the first Hello. apartment building, right? And he gave us the key to these three units. We, we took a look at the second one, super nice. And now we're in the third one. It's the smallest one, right? But we open the door and we see this. It looked like a girl lives here. Like the, yeah. the thing that threw us off is their shoes, shoes by the door. But it comes oh. to find out it was just staged. It's it's the only. We, I opened the door and I literally looked at him and I was like, <laughs> like did I enter the wrong apartment? No, like, same. And then what tripped us out was that the bed was made and everything. And we we're like, what the heck? But. It's staged. We, I mean, it's kind of cool to see one staged, but he just didn't tell us. And the other two we looked at the weren't one staged. We guys saw, and then the one we didn't show, they were just empty. So the, yeah, we really threw me off. We were just kind of taken yeah. back. But yeah, it makes a lot of sense now. It makes more sense, but we were really worried. We just walked down. So, and yeah. then there's this thing too. There's a census, like notice of visit. And so I was like, someone oh filled it God. out. Like, <laughs> yeah, definitely the smallest one. Definitely not our first choice, but <laughs> nonetheless. I just wanted to share with you guys that because we, <laughs> we, we were tripping oh out. My God. So we're going to talk it over but, for a bit and then we're going to head over to the next apartment. So we'll see you there. So you know on the other side it's all three right, the green one. Right. Yeah. But over here it's just really quiet. It gives you a pan, yeah, which is pretty neat. For like yoga zen area. Mm -hmm. So we have usually I host like one or two yoga events. Oh mm -hmm. well, that's so cool. With, yeah. So having a summer. We have Jenga and we have Connect Form. For rent, you know. Like, I just feel like this is part of you. And, you know, I only charge for a deposit just in case. Yeah, of course. For damage. All right, what is up, you guys? So we finished the apartment, like, hunt. We saw the two apartments. I didn't show you the second one just because, like, the tour guide was there. So I didn't want to, like, you know, put the camera in her face and stuff. Um, but it went pretty well. But like I said, stay tuned to the end of the vlog for kind of, like, the big update sort of deal. Um, but right now, we pulled up to this, like, chicken wing spot that Kia wanted to try. We ordered some chicken wings, got some fries. So I'll show you guys when the food comes. Um, but yeah, overall, solid day. Ooh. That smells so good. <laughs> I can smell it. Alright you guys, so we got some wings and then as you can see we got some waffle fries as well. This is So one side here we have the honey garlic uh, wings and then the other side are Korean. They call it the KFC but it's with gochujang and yeah, some other seasoning I think. This looks delicious. So we're gonna eat, and then we got a couple errands to run as well. But yeah, this looks amazing. We got there's like boba there as well, so let's get it. Shady crazy, spin it around and watch it all fall down. Fucking in the 
the backseat of the road She can even play me, game on Girl, I'm headed one way to California Got me feeling some way, ain't sober Girl, it's been nice to nice to know ya I just wanna really, really show ya How you gonna let it fall Alright, you guys, so I'm checking in the vlog right here to properly give it a ending And as you mentioned in my intro, kind of like a big update in regards to us moving out so if you guys have been keeping up the vlogs, then you would kind of already know our current situation. We moved out of the studio loft and we moved back into my sister's place. And then this was supposed to be a temporary situation as we were trying to look for a new space to live in like an apartment or something for rent. You know, we really wanted to take our time with that whole process and stuff. And as you guys know, like I've been taking you along the journey with the vlogs and stuff. I don't know, I just kind of had like this epiphany the other, it wasn't the other day, like, you know, I just had this epiphany recently. You know, in my brain, I could was just kind of like, honestly, like, what's the even the point of like moving out and renting somewhere when you can kind of just like save up and buy a house? Of course, you know, it's like to each their own. If you want to rent and if you want to do whatever it is that you're doing, that's totally fine, 100 percent. But I think just for me and as well as Kia, you know, I can't speak for her, but I can speak for myself. I personally feel like it's a better investment. And, you know, we talked about it and that's, you know, I think that's kind of where we're going to go. So I just kind of wanted to update you guys um, with that because obviously that's why you're here you've been watching the vlogs you've been trying to like follow along this journey and stuff and i just think that this right here will kind of be the final update because we've just made the decision to stay here at my sister's for a bit if you guys are regulars you know my sister's house is beautiful it's massive there's more than enough space for us and i personally enjoy living here and you know staying with family and stuff and when that time is right then we're going to purchase a home with again kia and myself <laughs> it's kind of like wild to say but you know just really you know start that whole family vibe like you know be on that tip and just you know i don't know not make babies but you know what i'm saying like you know have a family have her own life buy a home invest in that property you know maybe sell it buy another one sell that one buy another one um again in, in my humble opinion it's just a smarter investment for both of us and you know i think that's just kind of what it's all about you know it's about just being smart with your money where you can and you know, just trying to work towards like this different direction like in life and it's crazy because i feel like i had never thought that i would be where i am today to even have the ability to even consider buying a house because if any of you guys know what it is like that's a very big step to take but yeah i think slowly but surely we're, we're definitely going to get there and i'm definitely going to take you guys along the process of buying a home again it's not going to be anytime soon but Hopefully it won't be that far out, if you know what I mean. Good things take time and yeah, that's just kind of like where we're at right now in regards to the whole like moving out situation. So with all that being said, that is going to be the final update with the apartment hunting because it's coming to an end. We decided we we're going to stay and just kind of, you know, enjoy our time here and just, you know, stack up our money and potentially buy a house that we really like. But yeah, that's kind of like the update. And, you know, it's definitely bittersweet because I personally wanted to move out. But then I'm thinking about it in regards to like the investment side of the things and just like how I should be, you know, like handling my money at this point and stuff. And um, overall, I think it's just like the better situation and the better plan. So, yeah, like I said, it'll take some time, but I'm excited. But yeah, I'm kind of just like rambling on at this point. But yeah, hopefully you guys can like appreciate the transparency and hopefully, you know, you guys are still staying around to watch the vlogs when that time does come, when we're ready to buy a house because I think it'll be like really exciting to watch. But yeah, nonetheless, I just really wanted to come on here again formally and the apartment update situation and just really again say thank you. Thank you to you guys for always just like showing love like with the vlogs and like to Kia and I and stuff. We really appreciate it and like, the comments are always so sweet in regards to like both of us and stuff and yeah she's great and you know like i said it's definitely a blessing just being able to even say like oh i'm gonna save up for a house and we're gonna buy a house because it's again it's a really big step in life <laughs> she's probably gonna watch this but you know i think as of right now if i had to choose anyone to do take that big step in life with it would be her um so yeah i'm excited and again hopefully you guys stick around for all of that stuff but yeah i'm like <laughs> rambling on at this point so with all that said give this video a thumbs up subscribe for more content like this and if you aren't already like follow me over on instagram for kind of more day-to-day -day stuff um so yeah i think that's it so i'll catch you guys in the next one peace